I love to fly and one of my favorite destinations for flying is the Caribbean. One of the reasons I love the Caribbean so much is I love warm climate, I love the tropical atmosphere, the whole tropical mystique, I mean it just, I love it from the music to the beaches, the swaying palms, the gorgeous sunrises, sunsets, I mean the Caribbean is one of the most phenomenal destinations I can think of for travel. But there's another side to it and that side is the nature. Nature is all around and abundant in the Caribbean. I mean, I have encountered giant tarantulas, uh, stingrays, lobsters, seen jaguars, deer, uh, snakes. I, I mean, I've encountered snakes on resort grounds that were not part of any exhibit. They just happened to be g traveling through. So there are phenomenal things to see and experience. Wild monkeys, howling monkeys in the trees. I mean, it is absolutely crazy. And uh, so I love the Caribbean. When the airplane first starts arriving and you know you start descending down and I can think of no better place for this than uh, Cancun because uh, a lot of my approaches have come in over the Caribbean side so if you're sitting on the as you're approaching on the right hand side of the airplane you're seeing the Cancun all stretched out and it's got like I don't know 20 miles or whatever of unbelievable beach with all these high-rise resorts and it's spectacular I mean it is awesome to see from the air but if you're on the other side of the airplane, what you're greeted with is this miles and miles of crystal clear aqua blue water. I mean, it is so clear that from way up high, you can see all the details through the water on the bottom. It, it, it just gets me giddy. I mean, I get totally excited when I'm approaching Caribbean destinations. And like I said, Cancun is one of my favorite. The thing that excites me about the water so much is that first of all, when I go to the Caribbean, it's not a choice about going into the swimming pool or going into the ocean. Here in Canada, there are pools, pool, pool complexes. A lot of people have swimming pools at their homes. It's not a big deal to have a pool. But the Caribbean, the crystal clear water, that's something different. And you never know what you're going to encounter. Everything that you're seeing is things that Cindy and I encountered last year in the Mayan Riviera at different locations while we were snorkeling. Whether it was in Okumal Bay or uh, right off the shores of the Grand Palladium Colonial Resort, any, any place. I mean, the things that you can encounter are phenomenal. But if you've never been, the thing to remember is that if you plan to snorkel, not all destinations, even in the Mayan Riviera and resorts, have the same facilities for snorkeling. If you're looking through a brochure and you're going down the list of all-inclusive features and you see snorkeling is included, very true. It can be included in a lot of resorts, but their beaches and structures are not the best for snorkeling. And what I'm talking about right now is uh, Playa Car. I love staying at Playa Car because it's a uh, it, it's a, a little community onto itself. It's right beside Playa del Carmen. Uh, beautiful streets to walk, a golf course, everything you, you can imagine. But the beaches are not the best for snorkeling because there's a lot of sand and the reefs would be way offshore. Like I've never even attempted to go out to the reefs. But if you go further up between Playa Car and towards Tulum, the resorts along there have reefs that come literally right up to the beach at Grand Palladium Colonial. There's a section that is beautiful and sandy. You can be out there uh, swimming and enjoying everything and it's kind of roped off and to the right of it if you go then it's it's got the little coral sections the reefs and like these fish were filmed right there the same thing applies at uh, Grand Bahia Principe Akumal Tulum Coba that whole big complex is that they also have fantastic water very shallow and there's a lot of little reef formations which attract fish because fish need uh, structure or some place where they can feel protected because they always kind of scoot away but uh, it's phenomenal I mean can you imagine that you know like things that you see on television suddenly are right before your eyes and if you're snorkeling the silence and, and the fact that the only thing separating you from the fish is your your goggle your mask it's not like you're in an aquarium walking around with people walking and tapping on the glass but you're right there and things that you've heard about or seen you know brain coral fan coral and uh, again all the varieties of fish I mean 
some fish are so iridescent they're in color like purples and yellows that again you gotta you gotta wonder like how did they get to be that way like how did evolution or creation or whatever it is create them in such phenomenal shapes sizes colors it is it is beyond belief uh, I, I just absolutely love it and I hope that anyone going down there no matter how old you are you make it a point to do some snorkeling because it is a phenomenal experience Cindy had never snorkeled before uh, we met and uh, we traveled down to the Mayan Riviera that's the first time she did it uh, she was always a uh, apprehensive about it that when she puts a mask on and puts her head in the water she's gonna feel claustrophobic it never occurred the first thing that she she did when she put her head in the water with a mask and saw the fish is just want to go after and want to see more want to experience more to the point now when uh, on our next upcoming trip she wants to learn to scuba dive and uh, go down deeper uh, 30 40 feet and explore more of the reefs so and we're not uh, 20 years old uh, I won't say how old Cindy is but I'm over 50 so for us it's, it's not a thing that's restricted by age it's, it's just get out there and enjoy the beauty and remember along the shores the Mayan Riviera up offers up phenomenal scenery fantastic warm climate it's one of my favorite destinations and it doesn't matter what part you go to you're gonna have the time of your life All of the film you're watching, again, is things that Cindy and I experienced in 2007 on our trips to the Mayan Riviera. We had several of them and uh, spent many weeks at different resorts, different destinations, and uh, we film and photograph constantly. So I hope it gave you a little insight into one of our favorite destinations. Thank you.